Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my Ghost Runner 2 walkthrough and this is mission 6 called You Shouldn't Have Peaked. And we are back inside Cyber Void. Again, and it's time for another boss fight. Actually, it's time to take on Rahu the Avatar. This is not Rahu, by the way. That is an enemy type called Spectre, which we will have quite a lot of dealings with in this boss fight. And with this one, you just throw a shuriken and then you can gap jam up to him. And they work a bit like drones. Whenever there is a flying enemy, if you stun them and uh, gap jam up to them, uh, Jack will automatically uh, thrust in his sword and kill them and ride them down like some bizarre <laughs> little parachute thingy. But when you get into this room, this room feels very hysterical the first time you come in because there are a bunch of specters and they all shoot at you. But this room is very kind because if you fall off one of these platforms, the only thing that happens is that you go into a teleporter at the bottom of the room and that will send you to a teleporter at the top of the room. So that is a way you can use or a means to you can use to get over to other platforms or you can use these teleporters. But if you're at a platform where a teleporter isn't active, just jump off and fall down from the ceiling and <laughs> dash over to one of your choosing. And with these specters, even these that are on, so to speak, ground level, I think it's a great, great thing to just throw a shuriken at them and stun them. If you're too slow to kill one of them when you get close they will teleport away they will always go to the opposite platform so then you can just head into the teleporter and show up behind them and dash forward be quick or they will teleport away again and kill them and after you've taken out all the ground specters so to speak you will have four of them showing up in air. And as you can see, all I'm doing is just throwing shuriken, gap jam, and if you miss or if your energy bar runs dry so you don't have the ability to throw shurikens, just jump into the teleporter and try to land on one of them. And their shots move so slow, so they have a really hard time hitting you. I actually, this, it's one of those rooms that seems a lot harder than it actually is. And if you just take it slow, don't stress and try to focus even though there are a lot of red lights <laughs> on the screen. I remember in the first game when I faced off against the gatekeeper. I think that's... What is that like? Mission 9 or something in the first game? Tom, the huge... Uh, robot thingy hub. The first sequence of that boss fight when you're trying to get through all the lasers. At one point I couldn't even see the laser beams anymore. All I saw was just red light all over my TV. Like I had to walk away from the TV for a while to like unscramble my brain. <laughs> But this fight, it reminds me a lot about the last level in the first game. That it's just a platforming puzzle, more or less. And it wants to trick you into moving faster than you actually have to do. Because when you're playing Ghost Run, you want to keep up your momentum. You want to go fast. You want it to flow well. And the developers over at 505 Games, they know this. And they try to trick you into doing so. Like me, there you saw me just stopping. And that makes some of these sequences so much easier because when he switches in between those sweeping lasers and the ground slam, if you're moving too fast forward and you dash beneath one of those lasers, uh, you may not have time to jump quick enough to get over the ground slam. So proceed slowly through this level or as slowly as you can I say as I more or less blitz through it <laughs> but 
But don't rush, because the game wants you to rush. The game makes it harder by tricking you into rushing. Like here, this part. All you need to do is just stay on the platform, take one step to the side, and those uh, vertical lasers will not have a chance hitting you. And I think I really I enjoy all the boss fights in this game. I think they're all fun because they are all so different. They are all unique in different ways. And I think Rahu the Avatar, the design of him is so cool. <laughs> like some kind of giant archangel just hovering being ominous <laughs> it's like this is god of war levels of boss size <laughs> and i think god of war probably has almost a record for biggest boss when you're fighting this chronos in god of war 3 but i think i think the game's called ashura's wrath or something where you fight against an entire planet <laughs> or something like that towards the end. But either way, that is the end of Mission 6 and I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. So until next time, this is the Wolfman signing off.